You're welcome to Best Brain right here on City TV, your station of choice. This is a contest open to junior high schools from across the country. We've had 12 schools come through in the preliminary rounds. We now have six schools that are participating in the next round. From here, we go to the project phase where three schools will be giving a specific project. From there, we have two schools who are going to progress to the grand finale. It's going to be a great time right here on the show. We have some pretty interesting questions and some interesting students, I must say, who are coming from two schools that are very, very close to my heart. It's going to be a great show. My name is Philip Sean. I am your quiz master, but you can get in touch with us using the hashtag best brain. It's as simple as that. When we come back, we get to meet the schools that will be participating in today's contest, and then we meet the fascinating students who are going to light this place up. I hope you're ready. This is going to be fun. It's going to be a roller coaster ride. Strap in and let's get going. This is Best Brain, and this is where knowledge lives. <laughs> It's exciting times here on City TV. Exciting times right here on Best Brain as well. There are two schools that are very, very close to me personally that are going to compete in the contest today. It's now time for us to meet those schools. First of all, that's St. Martin de Porres School. Hello, my name is Abina Kesi Andri. I attend school at St. Martin de Porres. My hobbies are singing, dancing, and listening to music. We've made it to the quarterfinals, so I want to tell Kai the screen school that they should be ready for us because we came to win. Hi, I'm Janita Anderson, and I'm from St. Martin de Porres School. My hobby is reading. And after making it to the quarterfinal of Best Brain Quiz, I want to tell Christ the King International that we are coming for them and that they should be very ready because we brought our A game. Hi, I'm Kofi Sasusumwa from St. Martin de Porres. My hobbies are watching movies and playing games. We've made it to the quarterfinals in the Best Brains competition quiz and we are here to win. <laughs> So we've met one team. Let's meet the second team. Hi, my name is Ella and I'm from Christ the King. I like to read and sing. And we've gotten to the quarterfinals of the best brain quiz competition. And I want to tell the other school that we are here to slay the competition so they should watch out. Hello, my name is Ayeyi Enimadu. I'm from Christ the King International School and we've reached the quarter-final of the Best Brain competition. My hobbies are reading and watching movies. I want to tell St. Martin's the Paris that we should watch out because we are in it to win it. Hi, my name is Iris Bruce Cobbold. I'm from Christ the King International School. My hobbies are watching Korean drama and reading. We've reached the quarter-finals of the Best Brain Quiz competition and I'm here to tell the other school to watch out because we're here to win. <laughs> So we have met the students, we've met the schools. It's now time for us to get into the competition itself. But before we do that, these are the ground rules that we are going to be operating by. First of all, you at home can get in touch with us, get interactive. Let's know what your thoughts are. Can you answer the questions, for example? Use the hashtag bestbrain to keep interactive with us. A few housekeeping rules for the students for today. Microphones should be kept on all throughout the contest and should never be put off until instructions are given otherwise. Well, if you're ready, let's get into round one. Round one focuses on science, ICT, and mathematics. Students, you have 30 seconds for each major question. 45 seconds for riddles, and 10 seconds for true or false questions. 
This will attract three points and 10 seconds for a bonus question, for which you will get one point if you get it correct. True or false questions will not be passed on. Are you ready for round one? Are you ready for round one? Yes. Good. Well, for you at home, I hope you're ready as well. We're going to start the competition off with St. Martin de Porres School. Martin de Porres, complete the following sentence. Field method is used to determine soil what? Field, field method is used to determine soil what? Texture. Texture is correct. Christ the King International, name one mode of heat transfer which the thermos flask is designed to minimize. Name one mode of heat transfer which the thermos flask is designed to minimize. Convection. Convection is the correct answer. Other options include conduction and, of course, radiation, which is almost the same as convection. So it's Martin de Porres. The anemometer is an instrument used in determining what? The speed of the wind. The speed of the wind is correct. <laughs> Christ the King. Which of the following subjects, medicine, biology, and psychology, would you consider to be applied science? Medicine. I will take that as the correct answer. Yeah. <laughs> Martin de Porres. Chinchilla is a breed of what? Dogs. Unfortunately, that is not correct. Is that your final answer? Cats. Sadly, that is incorrect. Christ the King, would you like to try that for a bonus? Koala. Unfortunately, that is not correct. The correct answer is rabbits. Christ the King, for your substantive question. Now, name one characteristic of a person that is not acquired through heredity. Name one characteristic of a person that is not acquired through heredity. Language. Language is the correct answer. <laughs> Martin de Porres. The food nutrient which ensures good health is in farm animals is what? Protein. No. Carbohydrates. Unfortunately, that is not Vitamins. correct. Vitamins is the correct answer. Vitamins is the correct answer. It's a good thing you have 60 seconds within which to answer these questions. I'm not sure exactly how that would have fared if you had a few fewer minutes and fewer seconds. Christ the King. The use of resistant breeds of farm animals to control pests is described as what? The use of resistant breeds of farm animals to control pests is described as what? Biological. Biological method is the correct answer. Are you, you aren't too sure about that? Are you? I was sure. Okay. All right. So I'll just urge students to please speak directly into your microphones when you're answering your questions. Martin de Porres, state the correct order of increasing complexity of structures in, in living organisms. State the correct order of increasing complexity of structures in living organisms. Cells, tissues, organ, organ system, and organism. That's correct. <laughs> Christ the King, water that easily forms lather with soap is said to be what? Soft water. Soft water, Iris, is the correct answer. Getting into the realms of ICT, 
Martin de Porres, name the main negative effect of a loud ringtone of a mobile phone on a human being. Sound pollution. That's your final answer. Affect um, a loss of hearing. What well, damage to hearing is fair enough. I think you're close enough. I'll give you that. Damage to hearing is the correct answer. Christ the King, viewing television for long periods can damage an individual's what? Eyes. True that. <laughs> Martin de Porres, storage media that are similar to compact discs but store more data are known as what? Digital versatile discs. That's correct. <laughs> Christ the King. The brain of the computer is the what? Central processing unit. That's correct. <laughs> Martin de Porres, the software responsible for the management of the basic operations of the computer is known as what? Operating system. Excuse me? Operating system. I need you to speak louder, please. Operating system. That is correct. Christ the King, specialized programs that assist users to locate information on the internet are called? Search engines. That's correct. <laughs> Martin de Porres, the legal right that does not allow people to copy intellectual property without permission of the original owner is called? Copyright. That's correct, Juanita. <laughs> Christ the King. The operation whereby the computer manipulates data to produce information is known as? Processing. Processing is correct. <laughs> Martin de Porres, an example of an operating system is? Unix. I will take that. Unix is an operating system, yes. Yeah. There are a vast variety of them available on the market at the moment. But yes, Unix can be considered as an operating system. Christ the King, to boot a computer is the same as to... Turn it on. Start the computer. Iris, correct. <laughs> Let's get to some math questions, shall we? And Martin de Porres. A car travels with a speed of 80 kilometers every hour. What is the total distance traveled in meters after three hours? Twenty-four thousand meters. Twenty-four. Twenty-four thousand meters. That's your final answer. Time is up. Christ the King. Would you like to try that for a bonus? Zero point two four meters. Unfortunately, that is not correct. The correct answer is two hundred and forty thousand meters. Two hundred and forty thousand meters. Christ the King. A typist can type 200 words on a page. How many pages are needed for 1,100 words? Five and a half. Are you? That's correct. <laughs> Martin de Porres, the length of a rectangular field is two centimeters more than the breadth. If the perimeter is 36 centimeters, find the length of any side.
8.5 meters. That's your final answer. 12 meters. That is still not correct. Time is up. Would you like to try that for a bonus, cries the king? Unfortunately. Correct answer is either 8 centimeters or 10 centimeters. Cries the king to your substantive question. The perimeter of an isosceles triangle is 30 centimeters. The unequal side is 12 centimeters. Find the length of each of the equal sides. Nine There's centimeters. A Thank you very much, Ella. Congratulations. All right. Listen to this preamble and answer the questions that follow. Listen to this preamble and answer the questions that follow. The monthly salary given to a worker is 200 CDs plus 15 N, where N is the number of days a person works in the company. Martin Nipporez, calculate the monthly salary of a worker who works for 20 days. Five hundred CDs. That's correct, Sasu. Yeah. Christ the King. A worker who got six a worker got six hundred and fifty Ghana CDs after working for a number of days. Calculate the number of days. Time is up, unfortunately. Martin Nipporos, would you like to try that for a bonus? 30 days. 30 days is the correct time for <laughs> And Satu, I'll urge you to speak directly into the microphone the next time. So just make sure the microphone is as close as possible to you so we can hear you um, back at home. Into the realms of true or false. Mm. We're going to start off with Martin Nipporos for your substantive question. Every percentage change in every value leads to a decrease in the value. True or false? False. False is the correct answer. No. Christ the King. A zero vector has no direction. True. That's false. Are you that's false, unfortunately? And now to some riddles. We start off with Martin de Porres. We are a set of measurements with specific length and directions. Our lengths may be the same or different, and our directions too may be same or different. One or more of us is or are scalar multiples of another. The ratio of our corresponding components are always the same. Who are we? Vectors. I cannot take that because I think it's qualified. Would you like to try that again? Zero vectors. Unfortunately, I cannot give you that. That's unfortunate. Would you like to try that for a bonus, actually? Cries the king. Bearing. Correct answer is parallel vectors. That's the correct answer. Parallel vectors. Cries the king to your riddle. 
I am a special set that can be formed from all sets except a null set. I only increase the membership of union sets by one. I am also known as a singleton. My cardinality is just one. Who am I? One. That's your final answer. Zero. That is not correct. Want to try some more before your time is up? Subset. Unfortunately, that's this is not the correct answer. Well, Martin DePorris, would you like to try that for a bonus? Unit set. That is correct. <laughs> a thoroughly enjoyable round that was. Whew. I can't wait to tell you what the scores are after this particular round. This is Best Brain right here on City TV. It's exciting times, I must tell you. I cannot wait to show you exactly what the scores are for this particular round. Do stick and stay. This is City TV, your station of choice. And of course, this is Best Brain, where knowledge lives. <laughs>
Martin Deporis, who is the minister responsible for education? Honorable Matthew Okoku Prempe, doctor. Yes. That is correct. I'm sure he'll be grateful to you for ensuring that all his positions are duly pointed out. Christ the King, in which year did Ghana become a commercial producer of oil? Nineteen fifty seven. Unfortunately that is not correct. Would you like to try that for a bonus? Twenty seventeen. That is not correct. The correct answer is twenty ten. Correct answer is twenty ten. Your substantive question, Martin de Porres. Name one former president after whom an oil rig has been named. Name one former president after whom an oil rig has been named. John Evans Atamil. That's correct. That's, that's correct. <laughs> Christ the King, what is the most important symbol which identifies Ghana as an independent state? What is the most important symbol which identifies Ghana as an independent state? The flag, the that's, national flag. That is not correct. The coat of arms. That's correct. Christ the King, what does the expression, the fourth arm of government, refer to? The citizens. That is not correct. Speaker of Parliament. That is so not correct. Time up. Christ the King. There is no fourth arm of government. There is a fourth arm of government. And it's the media. The media is and always has been the fourth arm of government. Yes. Moving on to some English questions now. We start off with Christ the King. How many main types of conditional clauses do we have? How many main types of conditional clauses do we have? Three. That's correct. <laughs> Martin de Porres, state the two main kinds of relative clauses. State the two main kinds of relative clauses. Subordinate clause and main clause. That is not correct, Sasu. Conditional. That is also not correct. Time is up. Christ the King. You don't know. You don't know and you will shake your head to it. I can understand that. Correct answer. Defining and non-defining clause. Christ the King. The main question. The choice and use of words and expressions by an author in his genre is... Context. No. The choice and use of words and expressions by an author in his genre is known as. Time is up. Martin de Porres. Diction. That's correct. <laughs> Martin de Porres for a substantive question. What literary device achieves the same effect as a simile? A metaphor. That's correct, Sassy. <laughs> Into the realms of figurative expression and idiomatic expressions, Christ the King. Quejo turned a deaf ear to his mother's advice. Quejo ignored his mother's advice. I would, I would take that. He refused to listen. I would take that. I would take that, Christ the King. Martin de Porres, in spite of the chairman's harsh words, Kwame kept his head throughout the meeting. Focus here is on kept his head throughout the meeting. He didn't lose his temper. 
Kwame was confident. Which one are you going to go with? His temper. His confidence. You want to go with confidence? Yes. Yeah. Unfortunately, that is not correct. Unfortunately, that is not correct. Would you like to try that for a bonus, cries the king? Kwame was calm. Kwame was calm, yes. And now for your substantive question. In spite of the chairman's harsh words, which we've already done, moving on to some questions on literature. And our focus is on cock crow. Our focus is on cock crow. Christ the King, sure. Debbie, Sandy, and Pepe. What was the last straw that broke the back of Pepe? When Debbie and Pepe gave, when Debbie and Sandy gave Pepe chocolate to eat, he poisoned him and he died. Yes, he did die. Correct. <laughs> Martin the Porres, color of God. How silly man is. Who said that? Rose. Yes. These questions are taken from the girl who can. Christ the King. What was Ajoy's biggest surprise at home? What was, what was Ajoy's biggest surprise at home? When her parents laughed at her. Unfortunately, that is not correct. Martin Nipores, would you like to try that for a bonus? When her mother and grandmother used to laugh at her long legs. No. Correct answer. That Nana was washing her clothes or ironing her clothes. Your substantive question, Martin de Porres. Taken from Sosu and the Bukhari boys. Sosu and the Bukhari boys. What is the profession of the quist? What is the profession of the quist? So this question is taken from Sosu and the Bukhari boys. The question is, what is the profession of the quist? But unfortunately, the time is up. Would you like to try that for a bonus? The math teacher. Yes, the math teacher. <laughs> to your substantive question now, and we delve into religious and moral education. The outpouring of the Holy Ghost on Christians occurred during the what? Pentecost. That's correct. <laughs> Martin de Porres. Jacob's children went to Egypt because? There was a famine at Cana. Yes, there was a great famine. <laughs> Christ the King. The Janaza prayer is performed... Um, at the burial of a Muslim. When a Muslim dies, that is correct. <laughs> Martin Nipores, the congregational prayer observed by Muslims on Fridays is what? Juma. Juma is correct. <laughs> Christ the King. Israel came out of slavery in Egypt under the leadership of. Moses. Moses, Iris, that's correct. <laughs> Martin de Porres, Jesus came into the world so that people may... Be saved. I will take that, be saved, yes. <laughs> Christ the King, the attributes of God referred to his... The attributes or the attributes of nature. God referred to his... His nature. Final answer. His powers. Unfortunately, I cannot take that. Unfortunately, I cannot take that. Martin de Porres. His qualities. Not necessarily. We'll take his attributes. Well, we'll take his attributes. That is correct. Name and titles. So, yes, we, we will consider his attributes. That's correct. So, yes, we'll take that as the correct answer. Thank you very much, Sasu, for, for that. Now, to Martin Nipores, your substantive question. 
What is the term used for the ceremonial transition from childhood to adolescence? Puberty, right? Correct, Sophie. <laughs> Christ the King. The last festival celebrated by the Israelites before they left Egypt was the what? The Passover. Iris, that is correct. <laughs> Martin de Porres. A crab cannot give birth to a bird. This expression teaches that? One takes the behavior or attitude of his parents. That's correct. <laughs> and with that, we draw the curtains on round two. I'm not sure exactly how this is going to go, but I can tell you one thing. It's a very heated contest. When we come back, we get to find out what the real scores are. And then we enter into the realms of round three, where we get to find out what the brainiest task for the day is and what brainiest or brainy answers these students have for it. Don't go anywhere. This is Best Brain on City TV. And this is where knowledge lives. Blue Nights Limited is the best place to get all types of books, stationery, seasonal cards and gifts for children and loved ones. For all your British, American, Canadian and GES curriculum textbooks, SAT, T-O-E-F-L-G-R-E-G-M-A-T-I-E-L-T-S books, school bags, leadership and self-help, art and craft materials, toys, motivational books, office supplies, novels, greeting cards, educational materials and stationery. Children love Blue Nights because there isn't a book you cannot get there. Get educated and renew your love of books with Blue Nights. Locate us at Malcolm Plus on Spintex Road, Tanner Community 25 Estate Junction, Def Trackle Road, Cowlin Accra Central, and at the Kumasi Airport Waiting Lounge. Call us on 055 054 2162 Blue Nights. <laughs> At the end of round two, here are the results. Christ the King International School came through with 34 points. St. Martin de Porres came through with 30 points. Well, as to how everything else will pan out, we wait to see. But now it's time for us to get into round three. This is where we have the brainiest task, and we try to figure out which students will have the brainiest answer to that. The questions are right here with me. But before then, let's get ready for round three. <laughs> It's now time for us to hand over the brainless task to the schools. Martin de Porres, we'll be picking up your task for you for today. Juanita, this is your task for the day. Christ the King, Iris, this is your task for the day. Please do not open it until I indicate for you to do so. And now, students, you may open your envelopes. Students will have six minutes for this entire round. The answers will be represented on the boards as well for us to peruse at the end of this round. And now, the brainiest task. The preamble is as follows. Thank God my head is free at last. 
said Alice in a tone of delight. The workers on site have been busy and she enjoyed every part of the day. This tone of delight soon changed into alarm in another moment when she found that her finances have been depleted by payments made to the workers. She tasked the laborers to work in minutes, but payments are done at a rate of 20 CDs per angle made by the minute hand or by the minute hand measured from 12 o'clock, 12 on the clock. Some work from 3 p.m. till the minute hand hits 3. Done. Work from 3 p.m. till the minute hand hits 6. Fred, the young man born with a silver spoon in his mouth, worked from 3 p.m. up and up to when the minute mark hits 2. Her clock is a multi-purpose computer that serves her many tasks. She loves this machine with all her strength. Alice was visibly worn out from the day's activities. She found out that she couldn't see her shoulders. All she could see when she looked down was an immense length of neck, which seemed to rise like a stalk out of the sea of green leaves that lay far below her. Alice had no idea. What can all that green stuff be? And where have my shoulders gone? And oh, my poor hands, how is it possible that I can't see you? She was moving them all around as she spoke, but there was no result except a little shaking, and that too among the distant green leaves. These trees blossomed from the heavy dose of food they prepared themselves. There was no chance of getting her hands up to her head. She alternatively, so alternatively, she tried to get her head down to them and was delighted to find that her neck would bend easily just like a serpent in any direction. She had just succeeded in curbing it down into a graceful zigzag and was going to dive in among the leaves when she found to be nothing but the tops of trees under which she had been wandering, when a sharp hiss made her draw back in a hurry. That is our task, our brainiest task for the day. The questions are as follows, and students, you will not start answering until I indicate for you to do so. Question one, what's the term for plants repairing their own foods? Question two, what are the factors that affect the phenomenon in one above? Three, how much did each worker get? Four, state three bases on which computers are classified. Number five, what name can you suggest for with a silver spoon in his mouth as used in paragraph one? And number six, what literary device is employed in the word hiss as used in the last sentence? These are your questions. These are the questions that make up the brainiest task for today. We wait to find out what the brainiest answer will be. Students, you may begin work now.
Students, time is up. Pens down. Please hand in your answer sheets. Thank you so much, Christ the King. Thank you so much, Martin de Porres. I can see multiple answer sheets for Martin de Porres, but uh, we'll get to that in a bit. Well, the answer sheets are in. The students are going to have the answers on the board. We'll get to find out what their answers are as against what I have as the answers for today's brainiest task. All of this when we return after this break. This is Best Brain on the City TV, and this is where knowledge lives. <laughs> And now one student will be coming forward from each school to, prevent, to present the answers to the brainiest task for the day. Marcy de Porres, who will be representing you, Juanita, and Christ the King, Iris, please approach the boards and let's have your answers on the boards. But please make sure you indicate the name of your school at the very top. All the very best to you. Viewers. Even as they do this, why don't you compare the answers to yours as you put them down for this particular brainiest task. The show is still Best Brain right here on City TV, your station of choice. And so now we have the answers on the boards. Let's find out what the correct answers to the brainiest task for the day are, and let's see how the answers from the schools measure up. Our very first question, what's the term for plants preparing their own foods? Photosynthesis is the correct answer, and I believe both schools had that correct. Second question, what are the factors that affect the phenomenon in one above? Answers include sunlight, water, and chlorophyll. Water, sunlight, air, carbon dioxide, and chlorophyll is what we have for Martin de Porres. Air, water, sunlight, and chlorophyll is what we have for Christ the King International School. Third question, how much did each worker get? Sam got 1,800 Ghana CDs. Dan got 3,600 CDs, and Fred got 1,200 Ghana CDs. Martin de Porres had for Sam was correct, for Dan was correct. And then for Fred, also correct. Christ the King did not get Dan correct, did not get Fred correct, and certainly did not get Sam correct either. Unfortunately. Next question. State three bases on which computers are classified. The answers include size, Capacity and purpose. Size, capacity, and purpose. Master Depress gave us storage, capacity, price, and processing speed. Christ the King gave us speed, storage, and durability. Interesting answers. What name can you suggest for with a silver spoon in his mouth as used in paragraph one? Correct answer is idiomatic expression. Christ the King gave us rich and wealthy. Martin de Porres gave us idiom. Final question. What literary device is employed in the word hiss 
as used in the last sentence. Correct answer is onomatopoeia. Martin De Paris indeed wrote onomatopoeia on the board, but did pia onomatopoeia on the board, but did not complete it on their answer sheet. And Chrysler King also gave us onomatopoeia as well. All right. So those are the answers that we have, and those are the answers as presented by the schools. When we return, we shall find out what the real scores after round three are. Don't go anywhere. This is Best Brain on City TV, and this is where knowledge lives. <laughs> We are very close to finding out who the ultimate winner is. How has the competition been for you, Cries the King? Stressful. Stressful. I hear you said stressful. Martin Deporis, how has it been for you? Tough. Tough. Much tougher than the first round. Yes. Interesting. Much, much. Well, it's time to find out what the results for round three were. At the end of round three, Christ the King came through five over ten. Martin de Porres came through with ten over ten. Very, very impressive with round three. So now, who wins today's contest? Christ the King came through at the end of three rounds of competition with 76 points. But... Martin Deporis came very close with 72 points. So at the end of today's contest, I believe a big round of congratulations goes round two. Christ the King International School as the winners of today's contest. Martin Deporis, good competition. You fought hard. Unfortunately, you couldn't make up for the lost points from round one and round two. Thank you so much for being such a good sport in this contest and all the very best moving forward. Christ the King moves on to the next round where they get to figure out which project they will be given in that particular phase of the competition. It's great stuff, exciting stuff. Totally love today's contest. Heated right from round one. And now, we say goodbye to you at home. But before we go, we'd just like to remind you that this is City TV, your station of choice. But this is Best Brain, where Brain knowledge, knowledge lives. lives. Thank you.